everybody, it's Friday Farm Vlog, and today we took our St. Bernard Anna to the vet because the poor girl has been limping, and thankfully our vet was awesome and was able to squeeze her in on her lunch break. She has been booked solid, but even with rest, her limping wasn't getting better, so we took her in. And it's just a slight limp. I can just tell she's uncomfortable with it. It doesn't stop her from walking the farm and doing her job here on the farm and playing with our South African Mastiff Oaken. But we're not sure what is, but we're not sure what happened to make her uncomfortable. So I tried examining her legs. My husband tried. We couldn't find any swelling or anything out of the ordinary. And she wasn't letting us know that anything was uncomfortable when we were palpating. And then the same thing happened at the vet office. At the vet office, she wasn't even limping. She was acting like she was totally fine. But that's pretty typical of her. She's a tough girl and she doesn't like to show when she's in pain. She just recently had a heartworm test along with a check for tick-borne diseases. And that was negative at the time. So if she doesn't improve, we will recheck that. But after discussing with the vet, we decided we're gonna try some Rimadyl, which is like an anti-inflammatory pain reliever. She'll do that twice a day for a couple weeks and we'll see if she improves. And if not, poor girl's gonna have to go in for some x-rays. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Could just be a soft tissue injury. Her and Oaken, our puppy, play pretty rough, so. Much to Oaken's disappointment, they will be separated coming out here on the farm while she's resting, but we'll see how it goes. Before going to the vet appointment, I was able to get the farm chores done and get Fancy Nancy and Amelia Bedelia milked. They have been doing really good with the milking. They actually get excited for milking time because they get bananas or a special treat and they get to have a little bit of the grain that has a little molasses in it so they get excited for the sweet feed that they get along with lots of dairy pellets so that they can have what they need to produce the milk <laughs> and the milk machine really does make the milking quick and efficient and as long as they're getting their sweet treats they are great for it. So after milking, we got this girl to get into the back of my little Kia, oh my and she just fits. <laughs> Her and Oaken do drool a lot, so when they're in my car, my son does put up an umbrella, because otherwise he just gets covered in drool because they want to be like right at his head, just like hanging out with him in the car. So the umbrella just helps to keep the drool off of him. So that's become a thing. <laughs> but Mizana did fantastic at the vet office. She weighed in at 158 pounds. She was the biggest dog there today. And also the most well-behaved. She was just lounging in the waiting room, just minding her own business. But honestly, her favorite place to be is here on the farm, so she is so happy to be back home. <laughs> right, Anna? You happy to be back? That sun is getting hot, though, so I'm going to get her back in the house. But otherwise, things are going well here on the farm. We have been picking a lot of peaches lately, so we have an abundance of peaches. So we are deciding what we're gonna do with those. We're thinking peach cobbler, maybe a peach pie, <laughs> maybe both. I'd like to do some peach goat milk yogurt and maybe peach goat milk ice cream. So we'll see if we can pull it off. But I'm gonna get her her medicine, get her, uh, relaxing in bed 
do a little switcheroo with the dogs. Oaken's starting to come out. Hi, buddy. So he can check out the farm. Your turn. You guys are going to be doing some separate some separate guarding of the farms <laughs> just for a couple weeks while she's resting up but thank you for hanging out with us today and if you haven't started your farm yet what are you waiting for get your farm on one two one two three four do you want a farm a wicked awesome farm watch this channel to learn what to do we love to farm and we'll show you yeah to our show. Whoa.